I'm going to talk about making a section view. So section views very useful for when you have a part uh, that has some inside details that can't be easily dimensioned from your existing typical isometric views, your front, your top, and your side. And you can see here this is a this is supposed to be like a bucket for a cherry picker truck. So I want to dimension a couple things here based on section view. Like for example, there are these studs here for connecting the part this part of the bucket, I guess stick, to the rest of the boom. And there's a, so this these studs I you really shouldn't measure show uh, diameter of the studs from a hidden line. So that's one reason I want a section view. Another reason too is I want to show the thickness better show the thickness of the bucket walls. So I could do it here, but I don't really want to. If I'm going to do a section view, I might as well show that where it's represented best. So to make a section view, you go up here and click on section view. And I want to make a section view that's going to best show how this thing is going to look. So I think it's going to best look if I make a section view of the top view. And I'll show you why. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the parent view. And you see uh, where the arrow is pointing at the letter A? That's the direction the section view is going to be. So the best way to do this is, well, at least for this model, because it's symmetrical, I'm just going to start the section view here at the middle line. And I'm going to just hover over that and have it go straight down just like that. And then I just want to go straight up again down the middle. If you're doing other parts you can put section view wherever but for this I want it like this. So then it could be like let's continue to do section views and I'll like no. That's we're done here. So I'll just click the check marks. And here you go. It gives you a picture of your section view. Now earlier I did a I did a drawing break here in the middle. That's not showing up here yet. That's okay. It will once you place your section view. But notice that the arrows change the direction of where you're looking at your section view. So since the arrows are pointing to the right, just imagine you're cutting the top view in half and then turning it on its side, uh, you know, turning it onto its right side, and that's how you're looking at it. And same thing over here. You know, it automatically changes direction based on where you're projecting your view. So I'm going to project it over here. That's where I want it to go. So I'm going to click there. Um, you can change the scale if you want. I don't think it's a good idea because section view is going to be aligned exactly with its parent view. So I'm just going to leave the scale as is. You can name the section view whatever. This is A, B. Uh, you know, we, usually they're named in the order. Usually the views are named in the order they're created. I'm just going to leave it as is. You can, you know, just like making any other part of the drawing, you can do, you can adjust it. The depth of the drawing, it's either going to be, you know, the depth of the section, it's either going to be full or slice, or, you know, you can specify a distance. So, yeah, you could specify the distance of how, how deep you want your section to go based on wherever you place that line. If it's just a slice, it's just gonna show like a like a little slice of how the section is going to look. But I, I don't want it that. I want it to be full. Especially if I want to show how big this stud is. So I'm gonna go ahead, click OK. There you go. And Fusion 360 automatically applies the the drawing break here so that everything's aligned together. Now you see what your part looks like when it's sliced down the middle and you're looking at it from the you know, from basically left to right. So now you can apply dimensions to your section view. I'll put my whole centers there. Uh, I can show the thickness of this uh, of the wall here. There you go, 1.2 millimeters. I can now also show you know, the diameter of this little stud. So I'll click on that. And there we go. So that's that's what a section view is, is for. And yeah, notice it also applies to the hatching. That way you know that you know 
you, you base you're looking at something that's cut into a section. But yeah, that's section views are very useful for dimensioning stuff that you only know that would exist otherwise through hidden lines. Um, you can even see like the inside of the bucket here. If you wanted to dimension that, uh, you know, it's all sorts of different things because that. That's the thing with these drawings. You want to dimension things to make stuff as clear as possible. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons below. Also, post any questions you have in the comments and I may answer them in another video. And remember, anyone who stops learning is old, whether at 20 or 80. Anyone who keeps learning stays young. So keep learning, keep designing, keep making, and be proud of your work.